Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited. We are going to be doing a look today. I'm going to be sharing how I got this look um, and talking about the Powerpuff Girls and Colourpop collaboration. I have quite a few of the products in front of me, so if that is something you're interested in watching, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I have quite a few pieces of the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls collection in front of me. Uh, the first thing I have is, of course, the palette. Y'all know me. I'm an eyeshadow junkie. I cannot not get the palette. So this is what she looks like. It has Bubbles Buttercup and Blossom on the front. And this is what she looks like inside. I am so excited to play around with some of these colors. I want to do something blue to match my sweater. Um, I think that's the vibe I want to go with. Uh, I also picked up the Day is Saved roller gloss set. I've actually never tried the roller glosses from ColourPop, so I'm excited about that. Uh, and then I have the three color sticks. I believe these are the... Um, they're like eyeshadow sticks almost. They're a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but let's go ahead and try some of these out. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Can you see that? Can you even see that on the camera? Look how gorgeous those are. Okay, I definitely want to try one of the color sticks. I've never tried ColourPop's color sticks before, so we're going to try that. Um, and then I do have the two blushes from the collection. Uh, this one is in the shade Fighting Crime. And oh, this is the hot pink blush. Super, super pretty. And then this one, Save the World. Or Saving the World is, yeah, this one's more of like a peachy orange. Oh my goodness, do you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There's like a bubble in my product. See that? There's like a bubble in here. Interesting. Okay, so I think first we're going to try the eyeshadow palette. As usual with any of my eye looks, I'm going to use my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. This is my absolute favorite eye primer ever. It just makes the eyeshadows last so long. One of my favorites. I'm just going to use a concealer brush to blend that out on my eyelid. I'm just going to kind of blend everything together. The first brush I'm taking, this is just an It Cosmetics fluffy brush. I don't even think it has a number. So It Cosmetics fluffy blending brush. We're going to go ahead and jump into the shade. Uh, let's jump into this green shade, which is Silico. Silco silico and we're gonna just pop that on to the inner portion of the eyelid so I'm just kind of buffing that green shade up throughout the lid up towards the brow bone we're going pretty close to the brow bone as well I want to do a lot of stuff to the lid so you got to have all the lid space it's been a long time since I've just sat down and played with makeup I, I missed this I needed this today. It's been a crazy couple of months to say the least. Okay, I'm really into this. This color is gorgeous. I like her. Um, next, I am taking a Morphe R39 brush and I'm gonna go into this blue shade, which is Rowdy Rough Boys. Um, and I'm gonna pop that on this outer part of my crease. I'm like shaking so bad. I'm just Again, tapping and then blending after I've tapped the product into place. And that blue and green are going to overlap a little bit because they are so similar though. I think it'll be okay. Just turning it into kind of like a teal color. And when I blend, I'm using small circular motions and buffing that up towards the brow bone rather than into the other colors. So this very outer portion is going to be a very blue blue and then it's going to be kind of aqua and melt into that lime on the inner portion. This is giving me very much bubbles and buttercup vibes though I'm into this. I think I'm going to go back on that first brush, the It Fluffy brush with the green shade and I'm going to build up that green on the inner portion just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Mojo Jojo color stick and I am going to put that on my lid. 
These apply very smooth. However, if you apply too much, I'm noticing it kind of shifts the product a little bit. Really fun though. I've never had a color stick type situation before. So now I'm going in with Princess Morbux just on this outer portion. This is a lot darker than I thought it was. I'm just going to take this Morphe Coca-Cola brush. I think it's just like a concealer brush. And I'm just going to kind of pat over that and blend those two together. Just to make sure that it's more seamless. Let's go ahead and work on the lower lash line. I think I want to take some of the pinky red shades. I think I'm going to start with a little bit of red on the outer corner and buff it into the pink towards the inner corner. Let's go ahead and start with the pink because that's the lighter of the two shades. I'm going to put that all under my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take a clean, fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to just kind of blend underneath that, diffuse the line a little bit. And now we're going to hop into the red shade, which is Girls Rock. This is just going to go right on the outer corners. There's just that extra little like neon pop to it. Something like this. I don't know. How do we feel about the pink and the lower lash line? I'm not sure. I think it's kind of cute. I'm kind of into it. Okay. You know what? I want to try something. I just want to try this blue glitter shade. Just really lightly on the outer part. Just as like an extra little sparkle. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I like this. I'm into this. Okay. What do we think so far? I think it is super cute. I'm really liking this. This palette, the colors are super pigmented. I'm super duperly impressed with how this palette is performing. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. A plus. Uh, I think I want to do some blush now. I think because we tried the color sticks, we've tried the palette. Um, I think I want to do some blush now. So let's go ahead. I think I want to do the peachy blush. I feel like that's kind of the vibe I'm going for today. I'm just going to use this BH Cosmetics number three brush and I'm going to go ahead and give myself a nice little blush. This is super pigmented too. Ooh. I'm going to kind of draw that up into the cheekbones a little bit just to tie in that color together. I always like to do a little bit on the nose, over the bridge of the nose. I'm into the sun-kissed look. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. I'm just going to stamp the tiniest little bit up in my forehead, kind of where that bronzer goes up to tie it all together i'm just going to take a little bit of translucent setting powder this is the soap and glory one heck of a blot powder I'm trying to use this one up and i'm just going to buff over all of the blush with the translucent powder i'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of mascara and then we'll try some of the glosses i completely forgot to do an inner corner highlight so we're going to use professor utonium which is this kind of like pink champagne shimmer I'm just going to pop that right into the inner corner just for an extra little glow. Okay, I think we're ready to do some lips. So from the swatches and from what other people have said, the glosses for the most part all look relatively similar. I think they have different scents, but I think in terms of, it smells like a whole lot of fruit in here. I think in terms of shade, they all look pretty similar. For lip liner, I'm using Bodyography's Barely There. This is just a very simple nude liner. Just because my lips don't have a ton of color, I want to put a little something down under the gloss. It applied super smooth, and honestly, compared to some of the other glosses, like the Lux gloss, this one feels so much less sticky and more smooth. I'm very much a fan. I really, really like these. I've turned down the roller glosses in the past from other collections. I'm kind of regretting that now. Overall, this is the completed look using the Powerpuff Girls collection. Like I said, I did have the majority of the pieces. I didn't pick up everything, just things that I thought would be interesting. So let's go ahead and talk some final thoughts about some of these. Um, see what's worth it.
blushes. ColourPop blushes are some of my favorite blush formula. I really enjoy their pressed powder blushes. I think these two colors are pretty unique. They're not really colors that we've seen from past collections. The peach one, maybe. Uh, the hot pink one, the closest I can think of is that Sailor Moon collection that came out a while ago. I think it was called Cat's Eye. Overall, I really like the shades of blush though. I think they're super cute and I love the heart-shaped pants. The color sticks. These were so fun to use. I've never used anything like this before and I think they applied very smooth. I love how easy they were to blend into the powder eyeshadows and I can see how these will be a huge hit from ColourPop if they continue to do color sticks in the future. Really like the formula. Kind of super smooth and easy to work with up there with the Super Shocks just in stick form. Glosses. The rollerball glosses are actually really easy to use. I like the formula in here and how they're not so sticky like some of the Lux glosses. I really like a gloss that's smooth and not really sticky. It feels like everything's getting stuck in it. So I really like the formula in these. I wish that the colors were a little bit different, maybe not all on the clear side, um, but I think overall they did really well. Scents maybe not for everyone, but once it's on you kind of fade out the smell and don't really smell it anymore, so it's not terrible. Um, overall I really do like these as well. And last but not least we have the Powerpuff Girls palette. Super cute color story. I like that each of the girls has kind of their own row and I like that it's laid out kind of in columns so you can easily put together looks. I like that there's neutrals as well as colors, a little bit for everybody. I think the one thing that I wish was a little bit different was the shimmer that they have to go with the pink matte. I wish that it was more of a pink shimmer rather than a coral shimmer because you have a distinct blue and green shimmer for the blue and green mattes. But overall, I think it's a great quality palette, super, super pigmented. It's just so cute. And these are the bigger pans. This is like the Lemoncello palette. Uh, the pans are a little bit bigger than your standard ColourPop palettes. So just for comparison, this is the Lizzie McGuire palette, which is also a 12 pan palette. But as you can see, it is their standard size rather than the larger size. So the Powerpuff Girls palette is a little bit more expensive, but you're also getting bigger pans and more product. I do like the bigger layouts, although it doesn't fit in my drawer as well. Overall, I think it was a great collection. I am super excited about it and pleasantly surprised. I felt like a lot of this stuff was gonna be just average, but I'm really excited with how everything turned out today. That is all for today's video. If you did enjoy this little look, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on any future videos. I will link all the products in the description box below if you're interested in picking anything up, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.